I'm up to 940 subscribers, 60 away from my goal of 1,000. So if you could consider subscribing, it helps me out a ton. Today, we're checking out a demo game, God of Weapons. This one looked like Backpack, whatever that's called, Backpack Hero. I think that's what it's called, mixed with Brotato. That's the best way that I can describe it from the little bit that I saw. Yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping sound levels are good. They actually look pretty good. I was gonna say, why is continue an option? It's grayed out. All right, we can be the knight, the hunter, question mark, question mark, or the raven. I want the raven. We're a rogue. 5% damage for each weapon in inventory. I do want to read the others though. So low defense, high aggression. Okay, I don't know how we have already selected this one, I guess. There are other versions of the Raven. If this game is cool, I might play a bunch of it. Do we start with two daggers? I really want to play more of the 10 minutes till dawn. Holy yes. Okay, so I don't think I get to aim those at all. Just took one damage. Let's see if we regen at all. Okay. This like 2.5D view is making it way harder to dodge enemies than just top down would be. I don't know how I feel about that. All right. So yeah, the backpack heroes part. We leveled up, choose two spaces. Also, I have 40 gold. I could buy a crossbow, an ax. I wanna see how many spaces these take. This looks like health, this looks like armor, this looks like a claw, and it's pretty cheap. I'm going to assume that the claw will fit. Wait, how do I get this? You, I would like you. Hmm. Oh, first I have to get space. Does this... Huh. Takes four spots, it looks like. I bet you these guys take... S oh, it shows me the spots. Okay. Damage 11. DPS 27. DPS seems important. DPS is only 8. But the attack speed, 0.8. Ooh, this has good attack speed. 0.4. Crit chance, crit damage, range 80. Range only 30, this crossbow actually looks insane. DPS 15, this thing just looks so good. Let's go. Cross solver. So it's a mix between a crossbow and a revolver. I think that's it, right? Is there anything to do with stats? No. Sweet. Next floor. Let's go. The crossbow's actually insane. Can I sell my daggers? I get more damage per weapon though, so small weapons are good. Holy crap, I like this cross roll cross volver. Like a tongue twister. Yeah, the view is a little bit weird. The floors go quick. Okay, let's think about... So, I want to be able to view these stats. These two look defensive. This looks like a heal. Hammer looks good. This axe has a little bit of smoke. 47. I can afford that axe if I could fit it. To fit it, I could move one of these daggers. I can flip this. I get four spaces. It changes up which spaces. Do I think this is three tall or four tall? Um. Okay, that's what I'm going with. Let's look at you. Takes up five spaces. It's a tier two, 17 DPS. I wonder if this does like any kind of splash damage. Plus 5% attack speed for each adjacent axe. Ooh, this is like Backpack Hero. Minus dodge chance. And Brotato. This is awesome. 
I'm so sold on this game. Okay. Bounce chance, 50%. Cooldown is 2.2 seconds after each six shots. There's a reload. I should have read that. Put outside. What does that mean? Plus 5% crit chance for each adjacent dagger. We could be going for a dagger build. Do I want this small axe? It's very questionable. Could I fit it? It takes five spaces. I think I could fit it. Can I set things outside for a minute? Okay, yeah. So I would put that up there. Yeah, I can already fit the axe now. I would have to rotate things, but I can fit it. Can't I? Can I not actually fit it? I could somehow. Just have to think. It would fit right there. There. 47 gold. I just want to reroll. This looks like a massive axe. Plus three damage for each adjacent axe. This is what I think I want. Automatic crossbow. It attacks so fast. DPS 22. Okay, this looks pretty good too. DPS 16. Plus one bounce for each adjacent glaive. I kind of just want to go glaives. I only have the one glaive available, but I still kind of want that. Okay, it's going to be a pain to fit. Put outside. This isn't even that hard of a puzzle. And I'm still struggling to solve it. I'm going to put you go here. You go here, we've solved it. Can I lock things? Don't think I can. I think I'm just gonna save my money, I'm happy. I got one throwing glaive, I don't have too much room. But these want to be adjacent to each other. Um, Let's think about that for a second. You have to go outside. So to put you outside, we right click, put it outside, you come up here, you are a pain. I can't just put you back, there's no putting back, there's no room to put you back. Cancel. Why is it like this? Okay. Put outside. I can't put both of you outside. Sharp plus sharp and agile. Is that because of what I am? Sharp throwing. Okay, I don't fully understand yet. I want to know why I can't pick this up. Okay. So you have to go here. Now. Put back. Okay. Put outside. You. Come up here. I swear this game is testing me. This is solvable. Alright. We're just not getting the adjacency bonus. Put back. That's fine. Next floor. Let's go. Too much struggling and failing. So no bounces off the glaive yet. The crossbow result revolver is amazing. I wonder if there's any advantage to picking up these silver bars, whatever they are, before they despawn. Also, do I heal between levels? All of the thoughts. What are these barrels? Oh! Barrel gave me a shield. The other one exploded. Okay. 
I do want this glaive a lot. I also might want this whatever sided die. So for the glaive, ooh, the box got bigger. Thought that I was going to hit a max size pretty quick. One more space. In my head, that one more space should be I'm trying to think about this crossbow right there. All right, so now I want to move multiple things. I would like to put you outside, rotate you, move you down, you come back inside. I might have to sell some stuff. Crap. Do I have to sell the crossbow? Nah. Nah. But do I? No. Okay, you go outside. Crossbow comes here. It's either sell both... No, it's sell one dagger. Okay, let's actually look at this. Plus one bounce for each adjacent glaive. Yes. What do you do? Plus luck, plus crit chance, minus one attack speed. I don't know what minus one to attack speed does. Attack speed. Um. Let's do it. Tell you. I wonder if I can tear up somehow. What are you? Spyglass. Plus 10 range. That actually sounds insane. Sell it. I have tons of money. I wonder how I can like, spend my excess money. I see the bounces. So the more enemies on screen, the more that the bounce. Holy gold! Let's go. I'm rich, maybe. We got DPS, we got experience. I like that it just shows me the experience as a percentage. It seems to drop sometimes. Which is weird. Huh. Okay. I don't know what the experience means. I want... I only get to choose two spaces. So if I was going to fit another glaive, I would need this space, this space, this space. Or... This space, this space. I could do it with two, but those aren't available to me. If I could get this one space, I can fit it. But I'd have to get rid of the crossbow. To still be able to fit the crossbow, not really doable. Okay, if I was just going to try and fit a second crossbow, I would need this space, this space. Huh. I think we're going to go for the long shot and try to get this space Makes sense there it is okay so now I could try to get a glaive I could also go attack speed down go for plus luck plus crit scattershot crossbow that sounds amazing plus one projectile for each adjacent scattershot can't really do that bonus chance plus one I don't think I need the lucky die. It is kind of nice that it only takes up one spot, though. I think I'm just looking for the glaive. Even though they wouldn't be super adjacent to each other. Ring of power. Sounds pretty awesome. And it's glowing. It's a tier 3. Costs 80. I want it. Crimson Scythe. Plus 2% lifesteal for each adjacent... Pull arm. 
that DPS is so low. And it has 10% base life steal. It's crazy how good this game is. You go here. Reroll. Just a normal dagger. Double edged axe. The rerolls are costing a little bit. Automatic crossbow. God, that thing is so good. This doesn't have the negative of my other crossbow, but it takes up a lot of space. What do you do? Vitality recovery minus 2% damage. There it is. Problem is, to fit it, I'd have to sell off, like, everything. This is so questionable. You can stay. It'd be better if I could get them all to at least touch each other. Sounds a little bit wrong. Um... I can't do that. I don't even think it's possible to get them all to touch each other. Oh, it would be if... No. It's not possible. But next time I can get this one space fit in another one. Okay. Next floor. Triple glaive. All the bounces. It's decent. Let's go. What was that? Caterpillar thing. They do a little roll move. New enemies. Okay. Wait. I'm down to 3 HP. I was looking at other parts of the screen. Just dodge enemies. Nope. Okay, three seconds. We're fine. 3 HP. Okay. What are you? Okay, there's another glaive, and I can almost fit it. In order to fit it, if I shifted this one down... I think we're just going this spot, so that I could guaranteed almost get that spot. Okay, now, to fit another glaive... ...would be very difficult. don't see how to fit another anytime soon. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I have so many spaces, though. What are you? Ebony dagger, plus one damage every plus one kills with this weapon. What? It doesn't get to keep those, right? Because that would actually be insane. I might be buying that. I'm probably buying that. It only takes three space. What else could I fit that's good? Who knows? Plus 8% crit chance because I have five sharp weapons. Darn, Swift would be really cool. If I get one more throwing weapon, it would up my dodge chance and my range. If I get one more sharp weapon, it would up my crit chance. But I don't think I can really fit anything. Oh, just looking for a second. Now, I think I'm just going to go next floor. Let's go. What is this? Okay, I need... Is that dagger, like, super short range? Why isn't it throwing? It's supposed to be getting kills. Dagger? 
Oh, there it goes. Maybe it's just super slow. I should have looked at what its DPS was to start. Is it just super, super slow or is it super short range? I think it's just super short range. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. It went off twice there. All right, two spaces, a purple shuriken and some new thing and some other new thing. And we have 320 gold. Let's go. Hmm. Not what I was hoping for. Minus 5% item price. Takes two spaces. That's pretty easy. Plus three projectile power. That sounds awesome. DPS 28 versus DPS 15. Let's go. Plus 98 gold. I want like all of these. Get you first. That might not even be worth it. I don't know how much that just cost me. And it takes up space. Who knows? This one seems worth it. There's no way for me to fit another shuriken, is there? If I moved this one down to here. I kind of want to try that. I need to put you outside for a minute. How is that supposed to help? Don't know yet. That really didn't help. Um, it's kind of cool, though. I think I'm just getting rid of one of these. So right now, this one's touching two other shurikens. This one, that's the most they can ever touch, I think, is two others. Well, no, in my current configuration. They could definitely touch more than that. Oh. Were they touching more than that? How I had it set up before. Don't think so weird to have to think about these shapes okay we're going to sell you good stuff purple tier three let's go projectile power is up these do count as projectiles right throwing throwing should be a projectile it might not I don't know how to tell. I would just have to look at whatever it's called. Let's reroll once. Poison vial. Crit chance for minus life steal. I would actually harm myself, I think. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at this. Damage six. Damage six. I don't think it stays then or else I didn't get kills. One of the two. Blame. Oh, no. I was going to say maybe it's only if it's next to another one. I think I could get rid of this at any time. So maybe I should keep rerolling. One more reroll. Sickle. Sharp life stealing. Life steal 15% if not placed near any other life stealing weapon. Let's go. And I could fit it. That's 25% lifesteal. Lifesteal 4%. That would make all of my weapons lifesteal instead of just this one. Oh. Huh. That's pretty tempting. Minus dodge chance. I do have dodge chance right now. This is easy to fit too. 
well, not easy. I think I'm just getting rid of this. It's not as good as I was hoping it was. I want the glove. Good enough. Next floor. Let's go. I'm already at 25 minutes. Now I'm not trying to do any stupid stuff with that dagger that needs to get kills. All the shurikens. I wish one of them actually glowed purple. If the devs end up watching the game, it would be cool if you could add that little glow effect to one of them. The purple one. Just so that I could see which of my weapons is actually getting the kill, doing the damage. But my channel's so tiny, who knows if anybody will actually see this. Um, like if the devs will. Sword for the first time. Another die. We get two spaces. I'm really curious what this horn thing is. Alright, to fit another shuriken. This is a good spot. This would be a good spot. This is a decent spot. This is okay. I think it's this one. I needed this spot. This and this. Those are two really good spots. Um. Let's go here. Plus three melee power. That doesn't really help me. Let's look at the sword. Adjacent armor plus two armor. DPS of 10. Not very impressive. 279. Let's roll a little bit. Purple. This thing's insane. Attack speed 0.2 seconds. It only does six damage, but it just shoots like super fast. I want it. Is there any way for me to make that work? Not really. Could move this right here. That almost gets me there. Like right here, I could have five spaces, but not quite six. Oh. This crossbow would be so good. Um, I almost have six spaces up here. No, I don't think I can. I wanted it. What are you? A spear. 72 range. So this is just long range melee. I wonder if melee can like pierce through enemies. What are you? Sinister mask. Minus four range. What is my current range? Six. What does that six come from? That comes from having plus to throwing. Plus range is nice, but so is crit chance. Ah. Reroll one more. Crit chance and attack speed. Plus one crit chance for each adjacent glove. Let's go. I want this. What are you? Scroll of mastery. Plus 20% experience gain, which I don't know what experience does. Plus 3% enemy speed. I kind of want that. Wait. You cost 57. So plan is, buy this one first. Sell this one. It's not actually that good. Get this. Put you outside. Move this up here so that I get the adjacency bonus. You go here. Crit chance is now up to 12. Next floor. 
those skeletons just got destroyed. 37 HP. I see my little life steal one point pop up every once in a while. By which I mean I've seen it pop up once. There it goes again. These enemies are getting tankier, but they're also dropping gold instead of just silver. They're also attacking now, but their attacks are at least slow. Okay, we got this. I so want to play the other characters. This is just a demo, too. So good. Okay. Lifesteal, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. I wonder why this one's a little bit different color. Two spaces. Hmm. We're going to go up there. Like, is this one discounted? It might be. Small axe. Could I make that fit? Could. I'd have to get rid of some stuff. I still don't know if projectile power actually works. Puzzling this out is a little bit of a pain. I need a second space. Can I get it back? All right, we're going to put you outside. You get to go here. You get to go here. You come back up there. Should be able to swap the places of two things, but maybe not. The way it is currently is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Thinking just for a second. Is there any way for me to use these single spaces effectively? Not really. I have a lot of double space things. I don't know how good this scroll of mastery is, but it might be amazing. You know what? This is just a regular throwing glaive. That's not actually a priority. Okay, then I should put things back. No, I almost clicked sell on my best item. We got this. Easy game. Reroll, look for one slot. Okay, I need to take this. Okay, so yeah, the question is, what if these are melee? Or if thrown is just different than projectile? Huh. Plus 10% range is tempting. Or plus 10 range, not 10%. Okay, I think I'm always selling this. So there's melee power, projectile power, and magic power. I feel like throwing would be projectile. Bounces five. Bounces four, bounces three, bounces three. Hell yeah. You know what? 312 gold. Reroll one more. Purple. Health gain, experience gain, resource gain. Yes, I want you. Why is the game like this? Plus two attack speed, crit chance. Plus one crit chance for each adjacent glove. 
Assassin's Glove versus Assassin's Glove. They're the same. Um, I want both of these. That projectile power might be insane. It might not. The whole thing is, I would expect it to show the plus three on this, maybe? Because it shows the other things. It shows the bounces. It shows... I don't know. Hmm. Does it show the attack speed? Minus one attack speed. But I have the plus one overall. I'm just trying to puzzle out how I can fit this. It's going to get rid of some of my bounces, but that's just a temporary thing. So now I could fit the glove. Hmm. There's no way for me to get this and this. Sell it. I didn't even look at the price of these. Okay, I want more of these gloves to be adjacent to each other. If this could be touching both the other gloves, that would be huge. To make that happen, I'd put this outside, rotate this, rotate this, plus two attack speed, or plus seven crit, plus seven crit, plus four percent life steal. You come back in. Okay, we're good. 153 gold left, next floor. Floor nine. This is requiring way more thought than I ever would have expected. Like, way more than Protato or Backpack Hero. By far. Or Vampire Survivors is like thoughtless. Look at that, I'm at full health. Okay, that's a fast moving shot. Four seconds. Floor cleared. We get four spaces. I could get projectile damage up, but again, I don't know if it works. Let's just focus on fitting more shurikens. To do that, that's a good spot. That's an okay spot. Okay. So now, plus three projectile power. What are you? Plus one pierce. This is a tier four masterwork arrowhead that costs 150 and I can afford it. Let's go. So, Throwing Glaive. Very difficult to fit this. It's potentially doable, but God, it's so much. If nothing else, I want this to be touching more stuff. I like that it lets you put one item outside. I'm so close to being able to fit. I could do it, I would lose some of my glove adjacency bonuses. But that's not the worst. Wait, can I do it? 
I'd have to sell an item. I could sell my Talon. And then I don't lose my... Can I just leave that outside? I could do that. It's not like I need the money. Or do I lose it if I leave it outside? Because that gets me an extra bounce on this. We're up to six bounces. Plus, it just adds another weapon with two bounces and hopefully piercing. It destroyed it. I didn't even get to sell it. Okay, let's see if we got... I think I have piercing. Holy crap. That masterwork item might have been insane. Even though I don't know how well it works with bouncing. But if we could get a massive number of enemies on screen, I think I would just shred them. I am just shredding things. What are you? you? Oh. Let's go. Yeah, bouncing and piercing seem a little bit questionable. Especially because I already have like unlimited bounces on some of these. Mainly my purple and my blue glaives have a lot of bounces. There's a purple mask. I want to see that. There's also a purple claw. We have four spaces. So for these four spaces, there's some benefit in this space. A little bit in these two if I could get them both. Let's just take that one to start. Basically, I want this to look like a diamond shape. Okay, what are you? Plus 25% damage and more enemies. That's like just free experience. You just do a little bit of damage. Agile blessed. Great demon skull. I mean, I can fit it. It's just a little bit tricky. I think it does break my gloves a little bit. That's all I have to do is break the gloves a little bit. Plus 25% damage. That's massive. I have 434. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but let's look for it. Move speed plus one dash. I'm really curious. God, my armor is minus 10. My vitality is minus 15. I don't know what a plus one dash is. Takes up too many spots. A second one of these would be nice. That's it. We're good. I could take the poison vial, except I can't fit it, because I have the glove of lifesteal. So my other two gloves are touching. Why wouldn't I put outside? Can I get this better? Almost. We can move this right here. This glove would go... Doesn't really help. No. I think this is it for now. 278 gold left. Floor 11. We're 44 minutes into this video. Time flies when you're throwing shurikens. The backpack optimization is pretty cool in this game. I like it. Okay, these enemies are becoming tanky. 45 HP. My life steals. Stealing back some health. 
but it steals it back slowly. Okay, don't go. Ooh, you go. I don't know what those shields do. If they give me, like, invulnerability for a certain period of time, maybe? Looked like maybe that's what they were doing. All right. So if I want my gloves to touch, I kind of just want this blue shuriken. To get that blue shuriken, that's going to be really rough. Really rough. I just want to get the gloves to touch. We'll see. I get two more spaces. Okay, I'd like to fit this blue shuriken for sure. For shuriken. All right, that was lame. But outside. I don't want to take that until I'm done rearranging, really. I can almost fit things. It's so close. Thinking for a second. I move this here. Doesn't help. I think I'm going to have to sell one of my two size things or great demon skull, but that adds a lot of damage. I think I'm going to have to get rid of one of my necklaces. If I get rid of the necklace, can I fit the shuriken? Getting rid of the great demon skull would definitely do it. I feel like I was set up better before. How did I screw everything up? So I don't like that this shuriken's not touching anything. But whatever, what it is. Just looking really quick. I don't see a good solution. You have two bounces. You have two bounces. You have two bounces. 651 gold. Reroll. I might find a better shuriken. What are you? A thunder spear. Polearm enchanted. Even though it doesn't say anything, I'm guessing this thing might actually be insane. It had a visual that looked insane. Okay, I'm spending a lot on rerolls. 
minus vitality again. Let's do it. All right. Floor 12. I wonder how far this goes. Okay. I just got hit for seven. So they're appearing much quicker after their circles pop up, it seems. That was a big enemy. Minotaur? Scorpion thing. Sends out three shots. I just wipe out whole big groups of enemies. Single targets, I do all right, but big groups, I'm awesome. Only two spaces. Nothing appealing over there. With two spaces, I want to be able to get this shuriken moved down. To get it moved down, I need to be able to move my gloves up. Once you move down, this space becomes wasted. This space is helpful. Okay. It's actually really hard to get this to move right now. I would have to put you outside. Move that up. Move that up. Okay, that wasn't that hard. It doesn't get me a bonus to my gloves, but it gets me a bonus to my shuriken. My purple one. Hmm. It's not the best. Face this up. Face the... I can shift these a little, but that doesn't do much for me. I don't know if it's worth looking for a one-slot thing. We'll re-roll a couple times. Life steal, dodge, chance, don't care. What are you? Chalice, one slot, plus three vitality gain per floor, don't care, plus ten recovery, minus five percent life steal. No. I wonder what happens when you're at negative life steal. Like, if it does just drain you. Because if I was at zero, then this would be possibly awesome. But not really. I want this. Can I fit it? I feel like I should be able to. I think I could. Like if I shift this down. Actually, put outside. So now my purple shuriken's not getting to touch that. Kind of sucks. It also didn't actually help me. Get three bounces. Get six bounces. I just kind of assumed that was going to get me two spaces next to each other. Wrong. Okay. Darn, I don't think I get to take this necklace. All right, next floor. Go again. I just need more spaces, so we need to complete more floors. Forty-seven seconds. Okay, I see my XP bar. Is XP what gives me the number of spaces? Because if so, then I should have spent way more on getting more XP. Because then I could get more items that give more XP. It makes total sense. And I would want more enemies to spawn. I see future strategies now that I notice the XP bar. Kind of. Big heals. For no reason. Does this game have floor chickens? I didn't actually pay attention to what that food item was. Also, do I get two spaces per level up? Seems like I do. 
Okay, let's go here. I could get rid of the mask for another shuriken. What is that glove? That's the lifesteal glove. So if I shifted this down, it doesn't do much for me. If I get one more space right there, I could fit a shuriken pretty easily. I don't care too much about the lifesteal glove. I can shift this over now, get my bonus to my gloves, and have a little bit more space to fit this one. Is there a better way to arrange these? Also, plus projectile power does seem good. Looking for a one space? We could have so many enemies. I could trade this out for this. I'd get more enemies and more damage. Well, it still have one space. I have tons of money. And maybe I could find a blue or a purple shuriken. A red sword. Not even that good. DPS is okay. I do like the idea of this. I like that sickle is all good by itself. I mean, I don't need it, but in future runs. What are you? Great hammer. Weird. Big range. Huge item. Doesn't do much. 858. So this one is not enchanted before there was an enchanted spear. I'm just looking for a one space thing or a new throwing glaive. Also, new sword. Scimitar. Use stats 50% projectile, 50% sword. Use stats 80% melee. Okay. So piercing's not actually doing anything, I don't think. I only get 80% of my melee power, I'm pretty sure. I see. Okay. Doesn't matter, we're still destroying things. This one space, I think it's worth keeping this. I don't know why, as I said so. Because it's a masterwork tier four one space item, why not? I fight that Minotaur before it charges at me or something. I'm coming up in an hour. After this, I think I have to cut this video. And we'll complete the run next time. I think that's going to be the plan. We have 28 seconds. Unless I die, I have no intention of doing that. Thirteen. Easy game. We got this. We got this. We got this. And we have nothing of interest. There's some big sword. We'll see what that is next time and which two spaces I'm taking. So yeah, this is God of Weapons. I think that's what it was, the demo for that. Check it out, free to play on Steam right now for the demo. And yeah, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.